everybody and welcome back to my channel subscription boxes and more with Michelle and I have an update for you look guys I can move a little bit I can move my eyebrows a little and I can use just a little bit on the right side maybe there's hope maybe this will clear up um I sure hope so I miss my own smile I want to be able to make some facial expressions you know Instead of being so like deadpan all the time. But in the speech, if the speech could come back, that would be nice too, wouldn't it? Anyways, that's not what we're really here to talk about though. What are we here to talk about? I have a Dollar Tree haul. Or a Dollar Twenty-Five Tree haul. Um. And what is this? It's on a theme, guys. What is the theme? It is my junk journal, which I am going to be working on here in a little bit. And that video will be coming. I'm actually going to start it today. Um, so hopefully that video will be coming very soon. Um, we'll be starting first with uh, just, you know, choosing papers and starting to build the signatures. I'm sorry about the air conditioning noise, guys. There's nothing I can do about it. It is so loud. I don't know why they put it in the central part of the home instead of you know, in the back, but, all right, anyways, what I get? That's what we're here to talk about. I got some of this school paper. You remember when we had to use this way, way back in grade school? I don't know if they use it as much, but the lines actually go the proper way so that when you fold the paper this way, your lines are going this way. Most papers, the lines end up going this way, and which is kind of a pain in the butt. Um, you can still write on it, just the orientation's wrong. And uh, I do that. I do use paper like that, and I do write that way. Um, but I like to have some of this paper. Also for interest, you know, just something different. Uh, I like to use all different kinds of papers. I'm not one of those really fancy, I need to warn you up front, I'm not one of those real fancy, fancy uh, junk journalers where it, you know, where it's a thing of beauty you're scared to death to write in. Um, mine's a little more um, user friendly in my opinion. I mean, I have a couple of those that other people have made and I love them, but I'm scared to death to write in them and ruin them. So, all right, so there's that pad of paper. And look at this, guys. Again, it's going to be orientated the wrong way if you put it in there and fold it, but you can also use it this way and put it on a piece of paper, maybe it at the top and have it where it will flip up and you can journal here and then underneath uh who knows um but what i like about it is look guys there is yellow blue and pink all in there little small like legal pad type like that um here's something neat and it's got sort of a buffalo check it, these are like uh, those name um uh, plates or whatever they call them word strips um, like sometimes they put the kid's name on it and put it on the desk or they put words around the classroom you know so that the kids can learn to write it whatever but I saw not only is that really neat and you can put it in there or you can make tags but um, it's got the buffalo check there and then it's got this type on the other side it's like sort of a brownish um, but I got it from the buffalo check side and it's got you know that same like wine paper effect um, you know, that's just something, just to add some new um, interest. Speaking of the buffalo check, um, I did get one thing of the buffalo check fabric. So we can use that for a DIY or a, you know, cover or whatever. Um, I got these because a uh, typewriter. And you know, I'm a writer. Well, you may not know, but they're just blank notes. And it's got typewriter. And there's like eight of them in there, so I don't need to use them all. You know, six with their um, the card and the envelope, which you could use together. You could use separately. Um, and I know it's not cat themed, but um, I got them anyway, so it may or may not go in the cat journal. Um, this is more for my Harry Potter journal and my Harry Potter book. It does say magic. There's three of them in there. It's a um, chipboard word there. It says magic. I don't know if you can see it because my face is in bar um they have and now this crocheted um lace 
and they, I got it in both the ivory and the white and it's not on a roll this time that's kind of neat that they packaged it different uh, you can find it easier in my opinion I only got one of each so I did put on like tags and like maybe uh, the tassel or, or ribbon tie, you know lace tie or ribbon tie or however um, I needed a rotary cutter and they have one there. I don't know how well it works and you can't like change the blade But you know, I figured it'd work for a little bit for $1.25 possibly. So I bought that um, I got index cards used for tags and for things like that. Uh, you can just tuck them in as they are you can um, use them on tags so that you have like make it fancy on one side and uh, use this on the other side for you know stiffness and for the lines anyway there's the larger ones and but I also got the colored ones it's got yellow sort of an orange yellow sort of a green and teal pink and blue and they're like the normal size and Jot is a you know a good brand that they have of all kinds of um, office supplies school supplies type things I also got these great big tab folders, the Miller ones. You know, you can cut these up and use them in your journal. You can use it to, um, again, make tags, or you can use it for a page and it's got a tab. You know, all kinds of things you can do with these. And so I got them. And, not, you know, not really seen them that size before. Um, but I also got the red ones because they also had red ones. Why? Because it's a different color and, you yeah. know. I told you, I, I don't, I'm not one of those fancy people. I, I just like stuff in different colors and different textures and different styles. And, uh, I also got some paper clips to make some altered paper clips for in my journal. And I got the colored ones because why not? And then, not journal related, I got a couple pairs of socks from the Father's Day section because my youngest son is obsessed with sharks or always was obsessed with sharks so I got the shark ones because it made me think of him for myself and my daddy rode a motorcycle so I got the motorcycle ones to make me think of my dad to pass on so cool right they'll be really big on me but that's all right so those are the things I got to add to my journal making and you may see some of those things in a video that I make a little here in a little while. Uh, some of those things may make an appearance, you never know. Or they definitely will at the end of that series, because um, it will be a bit of a series. Um, I won't record every single thing and bore you to death, but I will show you some stuff about journal making, just in case you're interested in how I do it. Um, maybe you will be, maybe you won't be, but I hope you'll watch. All right, guys, so um, I showed you the things I got from um, Dollar Tree to work on the journal. And so I've gone ahead and thrown together a couple of signatures. One of them's a little chunky, so I may have to break it down just a little bit. Now this is gonna be my cat theme journal, and there's not that much cat paper, but there is a lot of cat embellishments to add to the paper. Um, so we're starting out. For, so we're starting out first with the papers that I folded together into the signature. So we're starting with a black cat, kind of like Mr. Nubs, except for he doesn't have a nub; he's got a tail. Um, I had that paper. Um, I bought it from somebody who makes it. And then next there is some like galaxy themed paper, just to have a different size and color. It's a little hard to do when hang on. Maybe I can pin this together. It's a little easier. Let's see if I can fasten this together in a way that'll make this just a slight smidge bit easier. And there's likely going to be other things added and things taken away, but we're just starting out at first with just seeing what it um, you know what we've got and how it how it looks together. So again, there's the black cat page, and that galaxy paper, a coffee stain paper. Um, this is a bag, a small little bag, um, that will be a pocket. Some cat uh, scrapbook paper. 
Um, so in that small paper we got from Dollar Tree, one of my um, envelopes from Mint Mongoose that will be attached to this paper that matches it. But I didn't want to forget. It's a hard sock there. Ah, things are trying to fall. Some draft paper. If you a foil paper that you can write on this side. Just copy paper that's yellow. A piece of tea stained book page. That um, school paper that we got from Dollar Tree. A piece of pink copy paper. And in the center will be this envelope which will be um, made into a pocket and has caps on it. And then you've got the back sides of all those things over here. So, um, and there's the other side of that cat paper. So that would be like the one signature there. Like I said, it's subject to change. I'm just trying to give you an idea of how I start planning it and start putting it together. And then in another video, then I will actually um, show you like um, sewing the um, signatures together and and then uh, embellishing. Um, probably sewing together in one small, so I'd say short video, but it probably won't be that short. And then <laughs> and then one of actually like starting to embellish, and that might take a couple of videos. So here we have a little bit thinner signature, but we have a scrap of paper that is cats and hearts. I meant for them to go the other direction, but I cut it wrong. Um, and on the other side of it is Paul Prince. And then here is a um, word line, and it says pet shop. And then uh, orange cardstock. Why? I don't know. Um, but it goes with that orange kitty cat there. And then there's a manila uh, file holder, uh, some lined paper, and some tea stained paper. And this is going to make a pocket with some of that cat scrapbook paper is going to make a pocket on there. Some green copy paper, yellow paper from Dollar Tree, um, another stain paper or it might be avocado dyed actually um, some yellow legal paper blue coffee paper and here oh, in the center of that is going to be this white kitty cat um, that is on um, calendar page goodness um, let's flip through here really quick there is the other side of the uh, file holder with the tab I made it a little small. I meant to make it larger. I don't know why I made it smaller. I don't know. But there's the other part of that um, word find. You would actually be able to do it mostly. Um, this one's a little thicker than this one. I may add to this one and uh, make it just two signatures or I may make a third signature um, depending on how much more cat themed stuff I find. Um, I may make this one just a little thicker and make a third one and um, so anyways that's how I start planning my um, signatures and start getting it you know in my mind what I'm going to do with it and um, before I ever start um, decorating and adding pockets and flips and all kinds of um, things hidden journal spots and things like that there'll probably be some more um, cat theme papers added if I can find it uh, I know I can pop more and um, I will probably put some more like envelopes and uh, bags and things like that um, like for instance this lunch bag which ought to go in that smaller signature and the thing about um, these bags is you have this part here that you can glue down it the top and bottom edge and it makes it a little pocket here you can then um, glue things together and but cut and make a pocket that so you'd have one here and one here as well and then if you glue these parts together here and on 
this inside, you know, glue it together on one side so that it only opens like this. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but then you have a nice pocket there. And if it's, if you think it's too wide a pocket, you can always make a glue strip here and it can be a double pocket. So it can be glued here in the center and then have a few longer tags that go this way. Um, just, just some ideas for you. But I always like to glue it here and here. And glue that down so that this is a, a bit of a tuck spot there, or a small pocket. And then I always like to glue it in a way that I can um, cut here and make that into a pocket. So one that pulls from the top, this tuck spot, and this that pulls from the side. So you get a lot of uh, bang for your buck with a lunch bag or, you know, gift bags or... So I'll tuck this in somewhere. Side. Maybe right there. To break that up. So that adds just a little more bulk to that one. We'll just clip these two together and we are on our way to starting our cat journal. And I'm sorry, I have a doctor's appointment or I would maybe even show you how to sew it together. But um, I've got to go get ready for my doctor's appointment and so that's going to have to wait to another day. But that shows you um, my process and, and um, we're we're started. Now we just gotta gotta continue and get finished. It, it usually um, you know it's something that takes me just a little bit of time to I like to take my time with it. I, I like to it's it's a fun process and I don't like to rush through it. And then I find when I do that well I don't like it as well because I've left things out I wanted to put in and put things in that you know maybe I, I wouldn't have um, had I remembered the other uh, items, you know that, you know what I mean. So I like to take my time and plan it out. So tell me what do you think of my little small uh, dollar twenty-five tree haul? Um, are you into dr junk journals? Are you interested in junk journals? A lot of you have requested that I please shut up about it and just get to making it already. That you want to watch me do it. All right, guys. Uh, with that, please give me a big old thumbs up because that would really help my channel. And please subscribe to my channel. And please share my video with others so that maybe they might subscribe as well. You never know. They might. And I'm at 950, guys. I'm so excited. I'm getting closer and closer every day to that 1,000. And pretty soon, we are going to have a giveaway uh, video hosted showing what, uh, it, what the 1,000 subscriber giveaway is going to be. Oh, my gosh, guys. Um, it's only going to be a couple items, but they are big, heavy, expensive items. They're also going to be very expensive to ship. It's going to be a fancy giveaway. And um, part of that, about half of that, thanks to my son Jonathan, who supplied part of that prize. Um, so anyways, guys, stick around and hit that subscribe button. And you never know, you might win a really super nice prize. And I'll see you again in a minute in another video. Bye, guys.